Welcome to Electron Line. Let's start with the converging lens and let's start with the object placed at exactly twice the distance from the lens to the focal point, which is twice the focal length. That particular point is a special point with the converging lens, and you'll see in just a moment why. The way to find the image graphically is to draw two lines. The first line you draw parallel to the optical axis from the top of the object to the lens. The lens, being a converging lens, will then converge the ray down to the focal point on the other side. And so the ray will then come down here, go to the focal point, and continue. And let me move the focal point over a little bit so you can see that it actually meets the focal point. The second line you draw from the top of the object to the focal point and beyond to the lens. When it gets to the lens, it bends and then continues parallel to the optical axis on the other side until it intersects with the other ray. Well, it continues, of course, but they will both intersect. And where they intersect, that is the location of the image. So you can now draw the image right there. There's your image. The fact that the image is on the other side of the lens, the same side where the observer is, makes that a real image. Also, you can see that the image is inverted. It looks like, if I drew it right, that the image is about the same size as the object. Now, let's calculate the image distance using our equation. S prime is equal to S, which is 2 times the focal point, which is 40 centimeters. Multiply it times the focal length, 20 centimeters, divided by 40 minus 20. This is equal to 800, divided by 20, which is equal to a positive 40 centimeters. Notice that when you place the object twice the distance of the focal length in front of the lens here, when you have a converging lens, the image will also appear 40 centimeters away from the lens, but on the other side. So in this case, S prime is equal to 2 times the focal length, which is also 40 centimeters. That's the interesting part about this particular point. If you place the object at exactly twice the distance away from the lens as the focal length, then the image will appear exactly twice the distance away from the lens, twice the distance of the focal length. Notice that the image is real. So the image is real. What about the magnification? The magnification is minus S prime over S. In this case, it's minus 40 centimeters divided by 40 centimeters, which is minus 1. The 1 indicates that the image is exactly the same size as the object. Again, that's the result of placing the object at exactly twice the focal length away from the lens. And the negative sign means that it's inverted. So the image is the same size as the object, and the image is inverted. Now what happens when you move the object farther away from the lens? Let's say now that the object is now four times the focal length at a distance of 80 centimeters. What happens to the image? Well, again, let's draw the rays and see what happens. First, we draw the horizontal ray parallel to the optical axis. It hits the focal point. Make sure I got the distance right here. And then it bends and goes right through the focal point on the other side. The second ray is drawn from the top of the object to the focal point on this side until it hits the lens. Then it continues on parallel to the optical axis. And where the two lines cross over here, this is where you find the image. Now you can see what's happened is by moving the object farther away from the lens, the image has now moved closer to the focal point on the other side. Let's find the position of the image s prime is equal to sf over s minus f s is now going to be 80 centimeters the focal length is 20 divided by 80 minus 20 that would be 1600 divided by 60 and 6 goes into 160 that would be um, 80 divided by 3 that would be 26 and a third 26 0.3 centimeters. Let's see if that's right. 26, that's 80. Oh, nope. 26.7 centimeters. 26, 80. That's more correct. All right. 26.666. So the distance now from there to there, S prime is equal to 26.7 centimeters. 
it's moved closer. Remember that F here is equal to 20 centimeters. So it's just 6.7 centimeters away from the focal point. This distance is now three times the focal length and this distance is one-third the focal length. So this is a way to look at it. So this distance here, away from the focal point to the object is, this is three times the focal length, and this distance here from the focal point to the image is one-third the focal length. Multiply 6.7 times three, you get 20, get the focal length. All right, what happens now when you continue moving the object farther and farther away, such that the object now is much, much farther away than the focal length, much, much greater than the focal length. In other words, it's approaching infinity. Let's draw the rays and see what happens. So the first ray is parallel to the optical axis. Let's see if I can keep this parallel. And then it goes to the focal point on the other side. The second ray is drawn. Not quite parallel, but good enough, I suppose. The second ray is drawn in such a way that it goes through the focal point on this side, without rulers, that's not that easy to do. It continues on like this, and then it goes parallel to the optical axis, crosses the line right there. And notice that the image is coming closer and closer and closer to the focal point, and the image becomes very, very small. I did not calculate the magnification here. On the second case, let me try that. So the magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, which is minus S prime was, where did we go? 26.7 centimeters, 26.7 divided by 80, which is equal to minus one third. There's that one third number again. Notice one third F, three times F, the magnification is one third, meaning that the image height is one third, the object height is still negative, means it's still inverted. Now let's calculate the position of the image in the third case where we place the object very far away. Well, how far did I place it? I didn't put a number there, but let's say here, let's call it uh, 2,000 centimeters. 20 meters. All right, that's quite far away. Let's calculate the image distance. S prime is equal to SF over S minus F, which is equal to 2,000 times 20 divided by 2,000 minus 20. All right, we need a calculator for that. So 2,000 times 20 equals divided by 1980, and I get 20.2 centimeters. So when you come over here, that means that the distance from the focal point to the image is just two millimeters, two tenths of a centimeter. So S prime is equal to 20.2 centimeters and you can already see the pattern as the object goes farther and farther and farther out the image comes closer and closer and closer to the focal point what do you think will happen when you take the object and move it all the way to infinity well of course there's no such thing as infinity but far 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 away then of course you realize that the image will come extremely close to the focal point and in the very limit, if you were to approach infinity, if you can put the object infinitely far away, the image actually would appear at the focal point. Of course, in real life, nothing is at infinity, but you can see that that's what the trend is. So starting at the point twice the distance of the focal point, the image will be twice the distance from the focal point. Uh, sure, take that back. If, if, you take the, if you place the object at twice the, the focal length away from the lens, the image will be twice the focal length away from the lens. That's a better way to say it. And then as the object moves farther away, the image moves closer and closer. As the object goes to infinity, uh, the image eventually will reach the focal point. And that's how we understand what happens to the image when you start at this point and move the object backwards. On the next video, We'll take it, start at this point, and we'll move the object towards the focal point and see what happens then.